Hello, in this video I'm going to do a review of glass fiber uh, polypropylene filament from Extrant. It's called TF30PP and it's an engineering great filament, like a high, high quality uh, specialty filament. So I got this huge roll of uh, Extrant filament it's 2.2 kilo roll it's quite big and i had to use some rollers on top of the cabinet over here to to feed it into the enclosure and because it's not fitting my normal spool holder <laughs> but it's it's a quite quite big roll 2.2 kilo and but i printed out several things with this filament and i want to show you first my normal test prints what i do normal normally when i get a filament so the first one i did was a stringing test and this came out absolutely beautiful there are no strings to speak of um, uh, uh, the strands are they're quite stiff and difficult to to break um, i'd say very difficult to break uh, so this test piece came out very good uh, and then printed out the, the bridging test and um, here I saw the bridging performance was not maybe uh, the best this filament prints at 280 degrees C's for optimal strength and uh, with uh, only 20% or 30% uh, part cooling it droops a little bit so because of the print temperature it takes a, takes a little bit longer time to to cool down so bridging can be quite challenging and here on the overhand tests they came out pretty nice uh, up to 60 degrees that was excellent and on 70 degrees i see a little bit of drooping and one was facing the, the, the part cooling and one away from it and they are quite similar um, so so at 70 degrees overhangs it starts to droop and that's quite steep overhang and uh, you really need to, to have uh, like PLA temps <laughs> to be a good uh, test here on the 70 degree so at printing at 280 degrees it's it's no surprise there's a little bit of drooping but other than that the, the 60 degrees and 50 degrees are excellent and this is a very good surface finish and as you can see the, the uh, you can't really see any layer lines is at least very difficult so it looks very nice and it's super stiff and strong and it's quite difficult to to break <laughs> and I'll, I'll show you more break tests uh, like very difficult to break i would say <laughs> but, uh, i then moved on to my normal test pieces uh, here's my maker coin um, that came out excellent absolutely no issues here um, the surface finish is very nice and um, details in the letters came out nice and, and no no issues here so this one came out excellent uh, it's always difficult to show black filament <laughs> on camera but you see the, the surface finish is uh, very very te like textures you can't really see any layer lines it's at least very difficult to to see layer lines um, here's the gnome that one came out excellent there's a little bit issue here with the overhang like a small amount of drooping but no stringing and uh, the texture is very consistent uh, and very nice um, mr belly here also came out excellent uh, the overhangs here a little bit of drooping and um, that's quite expected uh, I normally get a little bit of drooping in this area with most filaments but it's it's quite tough there are legs it's quite difficult to to break <laughs> and here is the artist model by Gareth and that came out excellent the, the back surface is very smooth as you can see and i really like the texture of this filament the, the fibers in the, in the filament make the texture very nice and there's no stringing in the in here i sometimes get stringing in this part if if i have stringing issues but this one came out excellent um, here's a omnum by tessa that one came out excellent as well um, even here the overhang came out really good i sometimes get a little bit of drooping in this area with some filaments but this one came out excellent um, and this one was looking very nice this one paint <laughs> i was painting on the table it's not a fault of the filament <laughs> um, <coughs> and here's a layers a lot 
and that one came as well really nice here in the overhang a small amount of drooping but other than that very very good and very consistent and the, i love the textures of the filament it's really like like some i don't know it's like some grainy grainy texture to it so feel but you absolutely see no layer lines anywhere and this is all printed at 0.2 millimeter layer heads so it's just a normal layer head print uh, we normally see a lot of layer lines with filaments but this one is excellent but those were the, like the normal test pieces and i then printed out quite a lot of te tests that i smashed around with a hammer and, and pulled pulled and, and crumbled tried to crumble and, <laughs> and here i'm just in short i'm gonna show you like a graveyard of, of prints that were just pieces that are printed out that printed out mostly fine but i smashed around and <laughs> i'm beating with a hammer and and finding out how, how the filament performs it's, it's very tough filament with a polypropylene is very very tough material and the, the glass fibers make it very strong and unstable um, and so, some prints i was just printing without any infill and trying out layer adhesion and, and such and, and i did a quite a number of tests with layer adhesion and here's a bin of of prints that I broke, all those are test pieces that I uh, test layer adhesion with my my layer adhesion test machine, <laughs> this one, and I have videos on, on this machine on my channel, but what I did was to find some results compared to other filaments and also results uh, with print temperature, and I'm gonna switch over to my screen here so here on the screen are, are several types of filament that i've been testing and here's the extrant tf30 polypropylene and the average uh, value of the brake tests was around 24 kilograms and compared to other filaments here you can see pla that's uh, has the strongest layer adhesion at 32 kilos patchy here's a Copolyesters and polypropylene. This one, this is the extrant, and here is nylon, and here is ASA. And, and so, here are different types of, of filaments that I've tested. So, layer adhesion overall for, for this filament is, is quite strong compared to others. Uh, only PLA and, and copolyesters filament from Colorfab uh, had better layer adhesion, but uh, nylon and, and ASA was uh, lower. So it was quite good layer adhesion and then I have another sheet here to show you and here is print temperature uh, and layer adhesion based on temp print temperature. This filament has uh, on its packaging print temperature range from 220 to 280 C and uh, I printed all of the test samples. Uh, like in a 20 samples for each, color, each temperature and, and did the average number of, of, of the kilograms needed to, to pull it apart and here you can see at the lower temperatures it is uh, around 12 kilograms and slowly rises and here on 260 but here on 270 it rises quite a bit so if you print this at, at least 270 or, or 280 you get quite a lot of added layer adhesion so it's probably around 265 degrees or something something crystallized in the material so printing at a higher temperature is, is recommended for strength for this filament definitely so based on, on those temperature uh, i was printing out to best to get the best uh, layer adhesion going over from 270 to 280 it means that you need a all metal hot end and i was printing in my enclosure having my enclosure around uh, 35 degrees c while I was printing and there's one thing uh, with this filament it's uh, quite difficult to make it stick to anything <laughs> so I found like two methods that worked quite well uh, other one for better adhesion is to use like packaging tape and uh, that uh, really, really bonds to polypropylene and I think packaging tape is made of that same material so it bonds to that one and the other one that worked excellent as well is a uh, magic goo 
and I was using Magico polypropylene and now Magico even has polypropylene glass fiber brand that is specifically made for extrant uh, glass fiber filament and I have an order of that uh, Magico on the way but uh, printing uh, with this on the PI sheet on my producer printer was working quite well as long as I had uh, a quite good brim on the print so I was having like you see here's a here's a brim <laughs> of of a print so i was i was printing this clamp and having like a two centimeter brim around the object that really uh, saves uh, the warping issue if i would skip the brim i would get warp warping but having a very good brim that's the key um, and using magico on my prusa pi seat powder coated seat it's working quite well gives gives me nice texture on the underside of the parts and now i want to show you some like functional parts that i did that was uh, the main main use case for this filament is, is functional parts so first is a little knob this is uh, on a cabinet and it's like a stop for the door and the cabinet door slides by here and, and then get caught this groove and it closes down so this is constantly going back and forth and this part needs to be quite strong and stiff and this has been working i've had some of those parts working <laughs> in real world <laughs> applications now <laughs> for a week or so to to test them out and this has been holding up another part is a like a, a shelf guide on my refrigerator uh, there's a glass uh, shelf in the refrigerator and it goes into this groove and then this goes into a groove in the in the refrigerator and this holds uh, the glass and this original part was broken on the refrigerator and I had been having uh, having this printed out in PLA for quite some time and it was breaking up uh, after maybe one year of use and um, I printed this out and this has been in the fridge for a, for a week and has been holding off quite well in, in like five degrees celsius so it's working quite well there uh, yeah then i printed the benzy that's maybe not a functional part but i forgot that one in the in the test prints the benzy came out excellent you can see the the underside here is quite nice and one thing with the packaging tape it leaves a little bit of the glue and you have to dry it off with, with isopropanol alcohol but uh, you can see the the benzy is looking quite nice I then printed this bottle opener, it's sort of like a key style bottle opener, it was uh, uh, working quite nice. Um, here I was testing, uh, like a, making a thread, this is just like an M3 screw, um, I drilled the hole and, and threaded the inside of the hole. Um, this is, I've been pulling on, on this screw for quite a bit. Um, so it's just a small hole that is threaded and uh, this has been holding up. I've been playing around with this like a fidget toy <laughs> going back and forth. Uh, this is completely stuck in the threads even though this is just two outer layers. It's a very thin outer shell and I can't rip this out. So this is very strong and very tough. And here's like a filament oiler cabinet it's a small piece that you put a sponge inside and with oil and clamp it out out uh, on the filament so this is very very nice um, here's a like a gopro extension or a part of a mount uh, this is uh, just a normal gopro uh, mount and this is like an extension and um, this is really stiff and, and very strong um, it's absolutely excellent use case for this type of filament. Um, here's a like a th thread. Uh, if you have a like a hose, garden hose thread on one end and uh, some other type of thread on the other end, it's a typical thing that you buy at the hardware store. Um, this is very tough and underrated as well. So this is you could customize a model like this with ankles and, and whatnot <laughs> if you if you want to. But this is uh, just a sample print I decided to do it's like a functional part that you could use. Um, and here's a sanding block I did. Um, this printed out quite nice. Um, I put in some hardware to clamp it together, and it's very very rigid and very tough. 
Uh, this could be a very good use case for this filament. Um, here's a Prusa clamp. It's one on, on the Prusa side. Um, this is also very rigid and, and very stiff. Um, I've been like trying to, to break this with my hands, pulling on it, and I haven't been able to budge it. <laughs> um, this is very very stable uh, clamp. So this is uh, also good good use case for this filament. You know, it's a tough tough filament to, to use and very stiff and it will bend very easily. Um, here's the last print I have. This is like a helper hands for when you're soldering uh, wires together. So you, you clamp the wires on each side and, and solder in the, the wires um, and this rubber band to, to clamp it together. This is very very stiff and, and very stable. So those were the prints I did. It was quite a lot of printing for the last two weeks or so. <laughs> a lot of testing with uh, filament strength or temperature and, and a lot of playing around printing st stuff and banging it with a hammer and <laughs> see how it goes. It can bounce quite a bit if you smash it with a hammer on a concrete floor and, and you don't hit correctly. I had some parts flying off the balcony <laughs> to my neighbor, neighbor when I was spanging on, on a, like a, I think it was a bench I, I was trying to smash. It flew away, but it's it's very tough filament. It's very like st uh, stiff and with uh, glass fibers. Normally, polypropylene gives uh, quite a bit. It's very tough, but you can bend it quite easily. But with the glass fibers, it makes it really stiff. And, and uh, this filament is is like for functional prototypes and and. And functional parts like, like this clamp and, and and like this, you can create all kind of custom tools with this filament. It's it's a very very stable filament, and and the the surface uh, like finish of the prints are very nice. You can't really see the ley lines in the in the prints, so it's a very nice looking filament. You know, it's black filament. It's difficult to to show on on camera like I was showing in the close-ups can be quite difficult to show, show a black filament, but uh, trust me, it, it looks super, super nice, <laughs> uh, especially like on the, on the curves uh, on the backside of, of those models, it's really smooth and, and nice. Uh, so overall, uh, I'm quite happy with this filament. It, it, it's a challenge to print because you need a, a, either a magic goo or, or a packaging tape, and if you have a, like a some, some glass bed or, or I put packaging tape on it it's quite difficult to, to remove it uh, afterwards you get the glue on the on the print bed and you have to scrape that off and, and clean out so so it's a little bit of more, more hassle using the packaging tape and uh, but I was fi finding the magic glue working quite nice uh, as, as long as I have the brim I was testing it before without the brim and then I was getting some warping but uh, as long as I had a quite a good brim, I was like printing this clamp on, on its side on the bed and there was no warping in, in this piece. Um, also this key here, it was having no, no warping issues. So, so like a two centimeter brim is, is key and magic glue is, is key as well. And I think uh, it helps as well to have an enclosure to keep a stable temperature. Temperature fluctuations are never good for, for warping issues. <laughs> So, so, so that's something that you have to consider. And, and one thing about the print temperature, you can print at lower temperatures, like 230, 240. And the optics I tested at that temperature looked quite nice. Layer adhesion was maybe not the strongest at those temperatures. So all metal hot end uh, is recommended. And as this has the glass fibers, you will need a hard nozzle as well. So you have to take that into consideration when you starting to print with a filament like this. You, you need maybe a, a nice machine <laughs> with, with good parts and a, and a good environment for it. But I think this will be it for, for this video. This has been quite good fun to do all those tests. And I have like 120 pieces here broken <laughs> parts. It took quite a while to, to test and, and break all those parts. I was getting it quite fast in the end <laughs> in, a, in a routine. But uh, testing all these parts and, and trying to break the filament as using a hammer on some things and not being able to smash them. And especially if I had many perimeters or, or layers in outer shell, it could be very tough 
parts so like, like this clamp has a, like four uh, parameters on the outer layers so it's, it's very stable so if you, if you have an option to buy this filament and have like mechanical parts or prototyping needs then this is something that you should look at but this will be it for this episode i hope you like this video if you if you like what i'm doing here please subscribe to my channel and, and give this video a like or a comment and check out those links in the video description there are some links to support the channel there but for now i thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one